everyone. Um, I have quite a few packages. Um, I finally did some ordering online and um, they're both from places I haven't bought from yet. Um, so I did a uh, first go with this big one right here, which is from Right Stuff. And then I have this package over here from Better World Books as well as, well as these two that are also from Better World Books. Um, and I just wanted to try it. Um, I buy a lot of used manga and I haven't bought any online yet. So I wanted to give it a shot. And um, same with Right Stuff. Um, I haven't used them before yet, oddly enough. But um, there was some manga that I wanted and I was tempted by their clearance section, <laughs> um, which I, I, I don't think too many people buy from the clearance section, at least um, that make videos about it, but um, I wanted to see what kind of condition they would come in. Um, there were some, quite a few things that looked interesting, and there's still a lot on there that I want, but um, this is what I started with. <laughs> um, but I think right now I'm going to start with Butterworld Books and um, I'll start with these smaller ones first. So this first one actually already kind of opened because I got this one before the rest of them and I was a little confused as to why it came by itself uh, and not this box. But then I remembered that one of them was coming from the Reno distribution center, so that's what this is. And initially, I was supposed to also get Rosen Maiden, but they, uh, and I did order it, but then they sent me an email saying, oh, we're sorry, it already sold, but we forgot to take it off our site <laughs> before we could, um, oh gosh. This is an ex-library of volume one of Millennium Snow. <sighs> and yeah, it's pretty beat up. I can't remember what condition they said it was in, but like you can see here, creases on both right here. And it's all marked up. I think it's got that big library sticker on it, though. Yeah, that lamination. Which, I don't know if I'll be able to take off, but I hope I can, because this is all crossed out, which kind of sucks. <laughs> so, I I tried not to get too many ex-libraries. I think the only ones that were ex-library that I got were both copies of... Was, um... Both volumes of Millennium Snow that I got. The other one should be in here. Um... But yeah, that's, that's a bummer. I might, that's in really bad shape. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that bad. Um, but okay. Uh, this one is, um, when they told me that they, um, had to cancel my Rosen Maiden order, I was like, okay, well, and they refunded me. So I was like, well, I should get a replacement. And I ended up getting this one. Take out my scissors. Yeah, this is in way better condition. This is Skip Beat Volume 1. I've been wanting to start Skip Beat. It's a long series. Still ongoing, I believe. And so I have a long way to go with this, but I figured why not just start. Um, might as well. And yeah, the condition of this is... It's really good. It's like... I would, it looks brand new. I mean, you can see the yellowing, which kind of gives away that it, um, it's older, but aside from that, the cover and everything is like really crisp. And yeah, it's really nice. Much, much better light years away from Millennium Snow. So that's nice. <laughs> um, okay, let's open the actual box here. I'll open it off camera. That's <laughs> just because I don't have a lot of space to work with. Okay, there's the box. Some bubble wrap, but that's nice. So, first off, I got 
volume one the cross game which is like a um sport romance kind of situation i don't remember what oh it's, yeah it's a shonen but it just seemed really uh interesting i heard good things about it so not uh it's a, quite a bit yellowing some Back. You can see there's some uh, some dingage right around here, but otherwise it's okay. I don't. I guess this was also an ex library because it also has um, lamination on it. Let me check the back. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but I mean, it's not a big deal. I mean, if. I want to try to get the lamination off, but I don't. I'll have to look up a way to do that safely without warping the um, cover, which would really suck. And it's an otherwise pretty good condition, so yeah. I, I don't remember what I spent on that, but it was pretty good, so I got what I paid for. <laughs> uh, ones are on the side. Okay, so I got volume four of Sensual Phrase. Um, they don't have this copy at my, um, or they don't have this volume at my, um, comic book store, so, um, I had to order it. That was the next one I needed. Um, I mean, the, it's just got general wear from age, and it's not that bad. It's not as bad as my volume one, that's for, that's for sure. <laughs> um, okay, so this, okay, Ultramaniac... I would say is majority of what is in here because I got uh, volume one. Volume four, three, two is probably the one that looks the worst because it is. Another library copy, which I can't remember if this said it was a library copy. I, I feel like, I don't know, either I wasn't paying attention too much or they're not marking everything that's from a library as from a library, which is a little concerning if that's the case, but I will definitely double check and make sure that um, that was the case because... I, I could have sworn I tried, like, only a couple of these were supposed to be X library but I could be mistaken. But, okay, so I think volume two is the one that probably looks the worst, but it still could be worse. <laughs> volume three is alright. It's a little dirty at the top here. Otherwise, fine. Volume four has got, like, that bend right there. Oh, sorry, the shadow is just, like really bad. Um, lighting in my apartment's just god awful. But, um, yeah. It's otherwise okay except for that, that bend. And volume 5 is also pretty good. It's a little dirty, but I can clean that up pretty easily. Yeah. And then volume 1. And this is the complete Oh, it's cute. Which is like a gothic blue. That's really cute. Um, this is the complete uh, Ultramaniac. It's one through five. So it's always exciting to get a series um, complete. I definitely want to try to do that more. <laughs> so I'm not hunting around for volume by volume, but I know it gets difficult, especially with older um, series, especially older. Shoujo Beat series. Um, yeah, that's exciting. Um, and then the other ones I have here are um, Angelic Layer Volume 2. I still need 1 and 5 to complete it. Oh, this one's from Kinokuniya. Oh, okay. And the condition's pretty, pretty standard for its age. Pretty decent. Nothing, nothing to complain about there. Uh, another library book. Yes, okay, yeah, this one I knew was a library book, but it's slightly better than volume one. 
volume volume one is uh, like <laughs> just to compare <laughs> like what is what happened it looked like somebody just mangled it uh, disappointing volume two is okay it's passable but volume one's got issues um and then we have peach girl change of heart volume one which is the um one of the volumes i was missing i think the only other one i'm missing is volume nine and obviously the first half of peach girl and then um once i get all of those i'll be able to complete it it might take me a while though and this one's ah it's got this situation right here but it's uh, uh i mean if i feel like i need to replace it i will but otherwise it's an old old series so i i'm not too pressed about it i mean my other change of heart like the spines are all like yeah <laughs> so it's it's pretty um in line with the rest of my copies so that's it for better world books let me get this out of the way whoa okay <laughs> Um, I'll move these out. And then we'll go to the big boy. Alright, so. And then I did use a code to get a free um, wine box thing. So what did I get? Letter B. Okay, cool. Season 2, but. Um, <laughs> That's cool. I actually want to get this manga as well. That's actually, that's, that's pretty nice. Take on me, Bachi. Okay. So I would say the vast majority of this came from the clearance section. Um, really, really inexpensive stuff on there. So I couldn't, um, my bargain hunter brain just kind of lost it for a second and this happened. <laughs> So we'll start with, I guess, uh, Fujoshi Rumi. Ugh. I actually have the first volume of this that I got a book off like a few years back. And I think only um, three volumes ever got released of it. It's released by Anime Works, I guess. Yes. Oh, Media Blasters, I'm sorry. Um, but obviously they were one of those uh, manga companies that went out of business and so the whole thing didn't get released before then. <laughs> so, but at least this completes, um, I have, and the condition is definitely like new. I, I mean, I wasn't sure how the clearance stuff would be because it's like, oh, it's probably been in their warehouse for quite some time, but no, they're in great condition. They're not used, obviously. So yeah, that's nice. If I had to compare Fujoshi Rumi to anything, um, story-wise, probably... I don't know, it's been a while, a while since I read the first volume. But maybe um, Kiss Him, Not Me. If, if you like that one. Maybe try give, um, giving this one a try if you can find volumes. I think they still have these on um, the website, so... And... Uh, I got, I think, most of Karakuri Odette, which is by Julieta Suzuki. Um, she also does uh, Kami-sama Kiss. So I got... Uh, let's see. Got one. Two. Check the morning light. Three. And these do have kind of like a dusty feel to them, just because I've probably been in the warehouse for quite some time. But, um, but otherwise, in great condition. Five. They did not have volume four, <laughs> so I'll have to get that somewhere else. Um, and six. And I, I'm not sure if that's the whole series. Does this say final volume on it? It does not. So I'm not sure. I think it might only go to six, but I'm not I'm not entirely sure. Okay, what else did I get? <laughs> um okay. 
So one of the things I got was a bundle and that was for No Salty Junkie. They have a few bundles. I want to get the other ones too, like Fan uh, Phantom Group, which is by uh, the author of Fruits Basket. But I got one because I was trying to not go completely insane. Um, is that all of them? Yeah, that's all of them. So, this is another one, probably a later Tokyo Pop release before they went defunct. Um, no Satsu Junkie goes beyond volume. I believe it only goes up to six in English. Um, I can't remember how many volumes are total, but so yeah, that's only, only part of it got published, unfortunately. Um, the bundle was only until five and they don't have volume six. I think volume six is a little harder to find, but yeah, So I got... One, two, three, four, and five. So I'll have to find six elsewhere. Yeah, it's just kind of a cute looking shoujo. Uh, and I think it was like 20, 20 something for the bundle, which is not bad at all. Um, okay, what else did I get? Uh, let's do this one. Gotcha, gotcha. Which is another shoujo, I believe. Yeah, this is another Tokyo Pop shoujo. Um, uh, so yeah, that's gotcha gotcha. Uh, I believe this was all completed, but um, this is what they had in stock. Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 5, and Volume 7. Again, I don't know if it ends at 7. I'll have to check. But yeah, everything, and this is a math, which is nice. I thought, I didn't know it was math, so that's nice. I love matte covers a lot. <laughs> okay. So then I also have here volumes three and four of Cherry Juice. Another shoujo, Tokyo Pop. Um, it's a bit yellow. On this one, I think. Yeah. But it's fine. It's older and it's otherwise in really good condition. I think they have volume two at my local um, comic book store, so I'm gonna have to pick it up sometime. Um, and then. Oh! Oops! Volume eight of Gotcha Gotcha. My bad. <laughs> uh, okay. And then I have Zigzag Volume one. I did I get that too? Yes, I did. Volume 2 as well. Uh, again, similar to No Sucks of Junkie. This one... This is matte too. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> I get a little crazy when things are matte. Sorry. Okay. Um, but yeah, this one is another one that didn't get completely released in English. So I believe only the first three volumes ever got published in English, but I believe it did get completely um, put out in English um, through Chungi, however you say that, I'm sorry, um, which is that Singaporean um, publisher, which I think is defunct now as well, but um, maybe I'll pick those up. If, if I like this, I'll, I'll maybe I'll look for those. Um, a completed version of it. But yeah, there's volume one and volume two. And I just need volume three. Um, let's see what it's off. And it's another map. Sorry, I was trying to get them all together. Okay. 
So this one is ah, Lament of the Lamb, which is push that back. Lament of the Lamb, which is it's kind of like a dark, darker series. I believe it's about vampires. So I got volume one, volume two, volume three, and volume five. Um, yeah, uh, this is a complete series, I believe. Um, they didn't have volume four or I think it goes up to seven, I believe. They didn't have those ones either. But, um, yeah, I got what they had. And, again, really, really good condition. These are all in really great condition for being in the clearance section, so, yeah. If you're ever debating whether to buy from uh, their clearance section on Right Stuff, then I'd say go for it. Because, because there's really great stuff in there. Um, okay, and that's it for the clearance stuff. And then I got a few currently item series. I can actually move this now. So I got volume nine of Girl from the Other Side. That was the next one I needed. So I'm all caught up with that one now. Same with Card Capture Sakura Clear Card. Volume 8. Caught up with that now. And then one that's going to take me a while to catch up to, especially because volumes keep selling out everywhere. Um, volume 2 and Volume 3 of Demon Slayer. So, yeah. There were some other series I wanted to get from Right Stuff, like uh, Jujutsu Kaisen. I've been wanting to get because I did start reading, but um, watching the anime, and it's really interesting. But I believe all volumes of that are sold out on Right Stuff. Um, so yeah, um, I mostly got used in clearance manga, and I couldn't have it any other way because that's I get I probably get the most joy out of collecting those things because it's like finding um, finding hidden treasure in a way. So. Let's see if I can get all of these together. Okay, so that's everything I got for the month of January. Um, it's quite a lot more than what I got uh, in December just from doing pickups. So <laughs> obviously ordering online is going to be um, really dangerous for me, apparently. <laughs> so uh, yeah, really looking forward to reading some of these. Um, nice to get more um more used manga and take advantage of clearance that i have to say taking advantage of the clearance on right stuff was a great idea because everything was in great condition and those are a series that um and they were they were really well priced like some of these were like two bucks so um yeah definitely definitely recommend the clearance section um on right stuff if you're interested in anything on there um but yeah uh, that's it for this month, I think. <laughs> I need to take a bit of a break, but, um, yeah. Um, as far as my thoughts on Better World books, um, <laughs> uh, I would say avoid, if, if the ex-library thing really, like, bothers you as far as the condition goes, because those are going to be really worn out because they've been through many a hand, um, maybe try to not get them ex library <laughs> but i have to double check and make sure that um some of those weren't marked as ex library because i feel like some of them weren't marked as ex library and i ended up getting ex library so i have to double check that because if they're sending me ex library even though i'm not asking for it then that's kind of a problem so yeah i'll have to see <laughs> Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm really happy with everything I got, except for maybe Millennium Snow, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it is what it is, I guess. Um, but that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off and hopefully see you guys next month with new stuff. Bye!